Hello there and welcome to Craft. In today's episode I'm going to be showing you how to make this fantastic modern house in your Minecraft world including showing you it in the full vanilla texture pack and showing you the full interior. So don't go anywhere and let's get on with the video. The blocks for the structure of this build that you'll need are the light grey, grey and black concrete. Then we've got the smooth quartz, smooth quartz stairs and slabs, regular quartz stairs, spruce planks, light grey stained glass and panes, iron rods, iron trapdoors, sea lanterns and end rods. These are just the exterior structural blocks. Uh, I'm not going to cover the interior blocks uh, here uh, but you can decorate that either as I've done in the video or in any way that you'd like. So this build occupies a 21 by 22 area and that's 21 wide by 22 deep. This is the floor plan layout for the first floor and where we're going to be placing these first floor blocks. So if you are looking to recreate this in your world, please pause the video here so you can actually see where these are laid out. Uh, I've used a quartz floor, but you can replace any of these quartz blocks with any flooring that you wanted to use. Um, but the quartz does give a very nice, fresh, modern look. So the first thing we're going to do is start by placing in the basic structure for this. So the first bit that we're going to do is the swimming pool. So we're just going to come around with a one high row of blocks in the light grey concrete all the way around here. And then we will take some of the smooth quartz stairs and just place those along the inside. Right the way around. And then this grey pillar here, we're going to come up four, one, two, three, four. Then we're going to come across to these grey pillars and come up three on this one. So you've got the two is going to be at three on this one. And then these last two are going to come up seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to bring those all up to the same height. Next, we are going to bring these walls in here. So opposite this one that's come up four, this gray pillar, we're gonna come up four as well. And this black wall, we are gonna take all the way along, not to the, quite the end, but the end, but one block. So we're gonna bring this along and fill this in. And this is also gonna be four high. So on the pool side it gives us three high, on the inside it gives us four high. And then all of these last grey bits we're going to be bringing up to eight. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it should be one block above the grey pillars that we've got there on the end. So bring all of these up to the same height. And then the same with this pillar in the center. That's gonna come up to the eight. One too high there. And this is gonna be up two and then across we're going to link these two because there's going to be a doorway in, in there and then we're going to bring this full thing to a height of eight as with the other gray sections and then the final one is here we're going to bring this section five across that's going to be eight high and this is the gray concrete that we're using here so all of the grey is eight high with the exception of this one little short pillar. And then finally we're going to bring up to the same height, we're going to bring up the spruce planks. And then the last bit of spruce planks here. And 
and that's a large portion of the house done. Next, what we're going to do is link up a lot of the glass work. So here we're going to bring this up the full height to the four here. And then we're going to do the same here. We're going to bring this up to the four at the moment. Then we're going to bring this right the way up to the full eight height with the glass in between this spruce and the grey concrete, making sure that we actually hit the right bits. Placing glass panes is always tricky to get them accurate, but there we go. Then here on this L shape, we're going to come up three. So we're going to connect these two up, but come up to the same height as this grey pillar. And then we're going to fill in the three here. Three here, three in, in between these grey pillars, because we're going to cap this off with a floor in a second. Three between the light and the grey and the dark grey. And then the last bit that we're going to fill in is the full height here in between the, the grey and the spruce. So all the way up with this light grey glass. And then we're going to do a four high here as well with the grey there coming up as high as this small grey pillar, light grey, sorry. The last thing that we're going to do here on this floor is we're just going to stick in some stairs here. Uh, just so you can get between the two levels and then we're going to just create a little open door that can go either way actually we can have it going this way or that way um oh, put it in the wrong or the wrong side sorry it's going to be on the inside here and then it's going to be coming out so that then is a glass door that's been opened next thing we're going to do is start filling in the floor of the next level so what we're going to do for this is come to this block that's four high we're going to come out and then we're going to come out again so two blocks and then from this point we're going to fill in across around this pillar right the way through to the wall on the other side and this is using the, the full quartz blocks and then we're going to fill in that here as well and then we're going to also, including on top of these windows, start filling in this space. So I'll just fill these in. We are going to be stopping there because we're going to be putting a staircase in there. In fact, I'll do that now. So the staircase is going to be quartz stairs coming down. Uh, and underneath each of the quartz stairs, we're going to be placing an iron trapdoor so that we can put the uh, so it can give it a bit of structure rather than it just floating in the air itself and I'll do those Oops, I'll put all these in so we're just going to be putting an iron trapdoor under each of these and that explains that little gap that we've got there then we just keep filling this in And then once we filled this in, we're going to come out another one and fill in round the edge. So we have an overhang and that overhang is going to go right the way around these pillars. And come two blocks past here so it lines up with the interior. The final thing that we're going to do on here is actually poke out a couple of these blocks and place some sea lanterns. So the one next to the pillar, then come along one and just place a pattern of four of these here. Like so, as this is going to be some decking uh, upstairs, about a little bit of a balcony. Now we've got the next level of the floor, which is slightly higher. So what we're going to do is one up from that block, we're going to come out three along here so it's not actually connecting to this and then we're going to come across with two blocks and this bit here is going to be a staircase so we get the smooth quartz stairs again place two of those and then we just fill in this area now it is going to connect here at this point and then that is then going to be 
running along and out so it becomes five wrapping again around this pillar and then we come right the way out here with the overhang past this wall one block and then we come back across on top of this wall this time so you fill all of this in and fill this area in So once that's done we're going to be putting some more lighting in place and we're going to do that by placing one block in uh, two sea lanterns then leaving a gap of two and placing another set of sea lanterns doing the same again a gap of two and sea lanterns a gap of two sea lanterns again and then a final gap of two with a sea lantern here and here and those are the last sea lanterns for this level final structural thing on here what that we're going to do is start filling in some of the glass and put one more pillar so level with the middle one of these and this pillar we're going to come to that intersection and build up three high of the grey concrete and then we're going to start putting in the glass so we're going to start filling in this gap with the panes and again here with the panes this gets a little bit different because what we're actually going to do is come out one and then come up because we're going to have a doorway going onto a balcony then we're going to come out by this pane come across until we are one past this pillar and come all the way around and then that's only going to stay us one height then we're going to come in one here and come up to the full height and bring that out so it's level with this so we've got a full glass wall that we've created here between these two sections so that you can get out onto a little balcony there and this is going to remain open we can now also fill this up to the full height as well with the glass panes and the last thing that we're going to do is just get some of the glass, stained glass, like grey stained glass here. And the stained glass full blocks are going to go in this gap. Next with the stained glass panes, we're going to build a little balustrade coming round between these two areas so people don't fall down this gap. Again, you've got to think about little structural things like that when you're building here. And then we're going to come out and build another little balustrade going across here stop people falling into the middle gap then coming up one block we're going to place across and it's going to come across until it is level with this next to the stair but next to that we're going to come up two further ones because we're just about to build some walls going around that and that gives us and we'll actually come in one further as well oh, if i can place the glass there we go there we go so we've got a little glass wall there and we will start to connect that up now with some walls so the walls for this essentially we're creating a three high big white box at the back and then we're going to knock out some windows once we've done that so it's easiest to just build the whole thing all the way around And once we've done that, we are gonna come in and start knocking out some windows. So the first window we're gonna knock out is we're gonna come across two blocks. And then the third block in the middle, we're just gonna knock that out and replace it with a glass pane with the light gray stained glass. We're gonna come in a further two blocks and knock this out. And yet you've guessed it, we're lining up with these sea lanterns and we're gonna do the final one here, but we're gonna leave this space. Now we're gonna start with the white areas of the roof on this build. So what we're gonna do is coming out from this, I've actually taken it one too high. So we're gonna bring the white wall across and we're gonna bring the white wall across to the point where it is level with this glass pane. So we're coming in from this block and then coming across. So it goes just in front of this gray pillar and then from this gray pillar, we are gonna be bringing the wall across here and linking it up 
and then going again matching the same two blocks on the outside and filling this in and then knocking out some sea lantern holes. And the sea lanterns are going to go in here and be spaced every other block. And then that's going to come back to uh, only two and then be placed every other block again. And back to and then the last set just go here. This is now completed and we're going to cap the entire thing off here with an entire layer of slabs. So this is again the smooth quartz slabs. I'll just go around the outline and this is going to go right the way on all of these bits including over this box area. So we're going to fill in all of this box as well. The next thing that we're going to do on the roof is the glass panes. So we're going to take these glass panes up and bring them right the way across to the roof here, just these two lines, before moving on to the grey concrete. Uh, and what we're going to do with the grey concrete is, again, I will show you and then fill it in. Uh, we're going to bring it all the way around to this level and create a box here. And this box is going to be coming right the way around on top and it's going to be too high. And then on this section, we're going to fill in again the same, but we're only going one high this side. We have a final couple of little external embellishments that we're going to do. The first which of which is where we're going to have a chimney snack cut the stack coming out. Uh, which is we will come in one, two, three, four on that fourth block. We'll go in one and we will place uh, this down for where the chimney would be coming out in inside. Next, we're going to come underneath here and just above the dark oak on this side, we're going to knock out two blocks and place two sea lanterns. Same on this side. And then skip the bottom block and then come up and do three iron bars this would be the door handle for a big door if this were an actual model bit modern build however we can't do that in minecraft so we have to make do by coming inside and putting a dark oak door in and now i will move on to the interior so now we're done here is the house in the vanilla textures as you can see i've done some landscaping around it i will show you that in more detail once we go into the uh, into the walkthrough with the shaders but as you come around here you can just see into the property itself there's full kitchen in there the little swimming pool area with a towel and a and a lilo just on there and yet yeah, the vanilla texture pack does look fantastic with this build um, all of the the blocks still look amazing and now let's go and have a look at this uh, with the full walkthrough in the shaders looking at the house now with the shaders on I think you'll agree it does look fantastic. Uh, we've got this beautiful modern design in here with the different levels and the different colours with lots of contrast. Uh, I've done some landscaping and put a custom tree next to it. Now if we come around to the side of the build, you'll see the little pool area at the back. Um, just covered there but nice enough that it just pokes out the back of the, the build. And then if we just look at the final side through the final aspect here. Again, just the contrast that we've got with the different greys and then the whites there. So now let's go and have a look inside. So if we come down here and look through here. As you can see, we've got the TV on the walls. We've got some item frames with an ender chest and a chorus fruit in there. Just a skull on the table. This wraparound sofa, which is in the smooth red sandstone, which looks really good here. Some of the little light fit fittings, which I saw a while ago on Reddit, but do match that modern look very well. Uh, there's lots of lighting here as well in the build. It's very, very light and airy. Here we've got a couple of armor stands facing each way with some uh, with some helmets on, some leather helmets. Here's a lovely touch which I, I came up with, um, or maybe 
yes, other people are probably coming up with it as well, but I've got a magma block there for the oven, uh, and then just a lever on there to actually keep the iron trapdoor there going, and then an extractor fan with this just little kitchen unit and the island here. Obviously the exit into the pool, uh, brilliant there. Then we've got this staircase, a little pond here um, with just some tropical fish, and this lovely, lovely um, modern looking uh, light fitting uh, chandelier that, that hangs down just another bush here before we come upstairs some seating up here which is just some andesite with some acacia signs around there but with the signs going all the way around i think it does look really nice and modern coming through here we've got this light fitting and then coming out a lovely views out into the world and a little seating area out the front here and then just again a bush outside there with these guardrails with the glass all the way around and then moving through to the final part of the property again coming up some more hidden lighting with some um, glowstone here in underneath the bush the chimney going up for architectural um, I find in these things it's always important to keep the architectural features going throughout so again we've got the little guardrail here just a little bed area um, with a lamp which is some blue ice and then obviously an end rod and again just a little touch with a roller blind coming down over the window here and then moving on to the bathroom so we've got a little bit of storage a little airing cupboard type area with some towels and a hanging rail a toilet there um, just a little mirror which is just a painting and obviously a sink with some water again a towel a laundry hamper and then a bath with some candles and a shower over the top so um, I've not run through actually creating this uh, because there's nothing really here that is too difficult to recreate so if you did want to go through and recreate everything here then um, everything should be reasonably easy to to do and to see from this uh, just rewatch this section again uh, if you do want to know what it is or drop me a comment belief if there's anything you're not sure about close the door here and then have one little last look all that's left to be said is thank you very much for watching if you haven't already please do hit that like button make sure that you are subscribed and you ding dong that notification bell so that you can be made aware every time i do post any new content and i will see you next time on 80craft